What's in the box? Let's open it. Hey guys, Patriarch Stack here, and I'm back with more content for you guys and girls today. Now, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to comment down below. All that stuff really helps out the channel. And I just, once again, want to give you all a huge thanks. I really appreciate it. I hit the goal of 3,000 subscribers literally a week ago, and I just checked my subscribers today, and I'm at 3,250. I can't believe how quick it's going, and... Uh, if it keeps it at this rate, you know, I might be hitting 4,000 by the end of the summer. So that would be really, really cool. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate it. But in this video today, we're going to open up a box. And we don't know what's in the box. Is it an empty box? Is it, is it a box full of silver? Is it a box full of gold? Well, we're going to find out here in just a second. So uh, let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, so I ordered this about a week ago, and I finally got it. And it sucks because I was actually supposed to get this, like, within a few days, like, within literally, like, the next day after I purchased it. I mean, this came from Bullion Exchange, and they're out of New York, and I live in New York. I'm about an hour and 30 minutes from Bullion Exchange's headquarters. And uh, so when you're buying something and they're shipping it priority, you're thinking you're going to get it in the same day or maybe the next day since it's coming from my home state and it's literally an hour away. Well, <laughs> this package went to the uh, one of the hubs in New York and then from there it went to Jersey and then from Jersey it went to Tennessee and then from Tennessee back up to New York and then to my house. So it literally took like a week to get to my house and I was like, what the hell is going on? But uh, anyways, I finally got it. It's one of many packages that I'm, I was, have been waiting for. Um, there's a bunch of other packages that I haven't gotten. I've ordered like last month, um, but I guess uh, they're just not getting the order in right away. It's, it was a pre-sale. Um, they told, they said one date, and then now they changed it to another date, and then they changed it once again this week to another date. So I guess that's how it is sometimes when you order. Um, bullion on a pre-sale or a pre-order but uh i can't wait i have no patience i'm just terrible with that stuff especially when it comes to my gold and silver as soon as i'm putting that money out i want that stuff with at least within the same week but i know sometimes it doesn't work that way so anyways let's see what we got we don't want the paper right come on now Look at that, guys. I picked up two 2023 American Silver Eagle tubes. Looks like they packaged it up real nice. I opened it up before the video just to make sure everything was correct. You know, I wasn't going to do an unboxing video and then uh, come to find out they messed up my order. Or maybe it's just an empty box because that would be pretty embarrassing, right? So anyways, yeah, got uh, two tubes of American Silver Eagles. I mean, the premiums on these are coming down, and it's great to see that for once because, you know, it's been a long time since I stacked Eagles like this. Um, so as soon as I seen the prices, um, I mean, the premiums are anywhere from 4 to $5 over spot, um, which I haven't seen, I mean, even before COVID. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen prices on Eagles like that. Um, so... Even though, you know, it's four or five dollars over spot. And to some people, you know, it's still a lot of money. I mean, it is. I mean, especially if you're, you know, a bar stacker like me, you like your 10 ounce and kilo bars. You compare the Eagle premiums, even though they've dropped a lot compared to 10 ounce and kilo bars. There's a hefty premium there. But still, for American Silver Eagles, at only four to five dollars over spot, you can't beat that. So uh, let's pop these sucker open and uh, check them out. All right, we got the bag open after struggling for the last five minutes. Thank God I didn't film that. <laughs> but uh, look at that, guys. Sealed tubes straight out of a monster box. They even added uh, some extra tape there. Keep them sealed. Really cool. Check that out. 
I don't see any uh, toning, so that's a good sign, right? Because sometimes you can look at the uh, tube and see that the rims are toned. I mean, I like a nice toned coin, but uh, I like my eagles nice and shiny. I don't know if I should open these. I like to kind of, you know, I know what eagles look like, um, obviously. And I think I would uh, probably like to keep these sealed. I don't know. Yeah, screw it. Let's let's open one of them. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Even though I know what they look like, but let's see how uh if the quality is good on these. Let's say there's make sure there's no milk spots or anything like that. But you know, with eagles, I've been lucky. Lucky for the last uh ten years, you know, stacking eagles. You know, you have your few that get milk spots, but I haven't really had milk spot problems with my American Silver Eagles. I mean, I've had issues with Britannias, clearly, uh, Krugerrands, a lot of other coins. But Maples and Eagles, I've really had no issue. Same thing with my Libertads. Never had really issues with my Libertads. So, uh, can't complain, you know. But Britannias, I've been having major issues with Britannias. That's why I stopped stacking them, because it's just a disappointment to me. You know, you're spending all that money, and then you're getting the coins, and they're full with milk spots. It just sucks. Look at that. Beautiful, shiny eagles. Let's pop this out of the tube here. These coins are so hard to get out of the tube sometimes. It's like a... These uh, eagle tubes are like snug. I mean, you want them to be tight, but it's a struggle getting them out. There it is, guys. 2023 Type 2 American Silver Eagles. 40 ounces of these beautiful coins. Uh, I still prefer the old design over the Type 2 design. I like the Type 1 design better, but... You know what? The Type 2 design is definitely growing on me. Um, on gold, I actually like the Type 2 design better on the Gold Eagles. Even though the Type 1s are just classics. But, yeah. Not bad. So I uh, paid about six oh nine a tube. And that was about last week. The premiums even dropped more since then. So, uh, I think right now you can buy tubes for like five eighty, Which is great. Or some... Um, some Peer-to-peer -peer dealers like on Facebook, IG, I've seen them as low as in the 570s. I mean, when's the last time we've seen Eagles under $700 and then the last under six? So, uh, yeah, really cool. But all right, guys, that's what I picked up. A more, more American Silver Eagles added to the stack. I think I'm up to like seven tubes just this last month because, you know, it's been a while. I've since I've stacked these, and I honestly miss stacking them. I love American Silver Eagles, and at the right price, they are for me. But all right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment down below, let me know if you're stacking American Silver Eagles now, or if you're still waiting until the premiums drop even more. But all I'm saying, they might not drop anymore, and they might shoot back up. So that's why I'm not taking a chance, and I'm buying these. I'm definitely buying them again. But all right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and Patreon Stacker will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.